And welcome back to Age Group Stories. I'm Dave Erickson here at the Oread Ironman 70.3 Kansas. And with me is one of the athletes racing this weekend. What is your name and where are you from? Bill Ruth, um, presently from Estes Park, Colorado, but originally from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Okay, Bill, what is your triathlon story? How'd you get involved in this sport? Uh, started after 1981, um, first race, and went on to do a bunch of races in 82 and the 82 Ironman with my wife and was turned pro with Mizuno running shoes uh, through 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, and then decided to go back to coaching and coached until 2007 and we retired in Pennsylvania, moved out to Colorado, got a coaching gig out there that we weren't planning on, uh, coaching track and cross country at a high school in Estes Park and then decided, okay, three years of that was good and let's go play again. And so here we are. Can we back up to 1982 and talk about the, the culture of the sport and, and how it was evolving at that time? It was different. I mean, you see the same guys and same women at all the races because there wasn't that many. Mm -hmm. um, the prize money was very top heavy, but it was just a different atmosphere. Um, it was so family oriented. Granted, the races weren't huge. I mean, the Ironman still had, in 82, probably had 1,800. I mean, so it was still big, but it was the same people that you saw all the time. So you got to know everybody and everybody kind of looked out for each other. And, you know, there wasn't check-ins and disqualifications and course marshals and, you know, no one sucked wheel on the bike and he just didn't do that. I mean, it just, there, that wasn't part of the, the whole idea of starting this. Uh, what about your goals for this race? I mean, you, you've been around the block a few times and, and done some long distances and half distances. What are your goals at this stage in your career? Um, originally, until I got out here, I thought 430 to 440 time-wise, which for a 60 and over is w real good. Sure. Um, I used to be a real good runner, but with age, you just get slower and altitude slows you down. I mean, so living at 8,000 feet where we do, you just run slower. But then after riding the course and, you know, knowing that the weather is going to be kind of crappy tomorrow, um, you know, sub five hours, I'll be happy. What are your long-term goals looking maybe five years from now? <laughs> not be dead. Not be dead. <laughs> Keep playing. I mean, I, I don't, I mean, I consult for high school cross country and swimming coaches and track and field coaches, um, trying to help their programs get better. I run camps for them up in Estes Park. But, you know, I don't look at myself as having a training plan to do this. I just go out and play every day. I mean, I don't like resting for these things because it takes my comfort zone is going out and spending three and four hours on my bike every day and, you know, up in the mountains. <laughs> so it's different. Well, good luck this weekend, Bill. Thank you.